Even if you think no one cares, millions do. National Suicide Prevention Hotline, 1-800-273-8255. Response 1. Deleted. I agree with the technicality of what you're saying but the sentiment stands. There are people who care. Deleted. I'm diagnosed major depressive, OCD, and anxiety disorder. Knowing that anyone cares helps me. I have actual physical disabilities which make people flinch and turn away from me. I wish I could hide them as easily as mental issues and pretend everything's okay just so I could receive a warm look and a sincere smile from a real human being. Colon closing parenthesis. You'll have your day man, we all do at some point. Sounds cheesy as fuck but there's a saying I love, we're all in the gutter but some of us are looking at the stars. Response 2. People care after the fact. Sometimes people don't know until after the fact. I've had suicidal thoughts and I was pretty good at hiding them. The time I finally broke down into an obviously depressed state, I had very concerned friends and family offering help and advice and support. It's not like people walk around with signs that say, I'm going to kill myself today. In fact, I've heard that some people become manic, excited and happy before they kill themselves because they know their pain is soon coming to an end. Everybody has to live their own life and that, unfortunately, means you sometimes miss the signals that other people give off. People sometimes have a lot of stuff going on and sometimes other people's issues get put on the back burner. I live far away from my family and I don't have very many friends. I'll call my parents a few times a week and I'll call my brother every few days. Heck, I even see a few of my friends every once in a while. But depression can pop up quickly. Sometimes when I'm walking home from a bar where I was just having a great time with friends, I get sad and think about how they really aren't good friends and nobody likes me and I should just kill myself. The thing I hate is that people get blamed when somebody close to them commits suicide. Why didn't you help them? Couldn't you see this coming? It isn't that simple. People can be really good at hiding their pain. You can't expect everybody you know to constantly watch over you. They have their own shit going on. But just because they aren't always there and just because they can't see that something is wrong, well, that sure as hell doesn't mean they don't care. And for anybody out there who doesn't think anybody cares about them. I do. I might not know you, but I believe there's a good person in everybody and everybody has something to offer this world. If you don't have any friends or family that you can talk to, feel free to PM me anytime. Or head on over to our Suicide Watch, where you can talk to somebody day or night, because people, in fact, do care. I have had depression for most of my life, but only found out about it a few years ago. I just thought I was a grumpy shit who occasionally couldn't cope with life. It wasn't until my husband, of six years at the time, came home from work early, couldn't find me, and then discovered I was in a blanket fort in the bottom of my walk-in wardrobe that he suggested maybe I get some help. Even then, I'm pretty sure he still has no idea I was contemplating killing myself. You get really, really good at hiding it because what are you going to say? If you're like me and you don't even realize you've got depression, what's the answer to, are you okay, or, how are you going, we're socially conditioned to say, I'm doing well, thanks, even when you just want to curl up into a little ball and cease to exist. And if you're like me and you got far enough through depression that you kind of popped out into the other side where you simply didn't feel anything anymore, it's easy to pretend to be normal and calm when the prospect of death elicits as much emotion as the prospect of a cup of tea. When you're depressed you learn how to fake it. My problem is that when I'm depressed, it doesn't have anything to do with what's going on in my life. I've got a lot of problems, but none of them are on my mind when I'm feeling suicidal. I just feel empty and disconnected. When people ask what's wrong, I can't give them an explanation. And I think people have a difficult time understanding that you can feel really shitty for no reason at all. I guess depression is such a complicated issue because you can't really understand it unless you've experienced it. I hope there are changes in the future that make it so people have more outlets to resolve their mental health issues. It's unfortunate that so many people have to go through their lives with hidden pain. I hope you're doing well now. Did you ever get help for your depression? If so, what was your experience? I'm doing really well now, actually smiley face, I'm proof that there is light at the end of that god-awful tunnel. The day my husband found me in my blanket fort, we sat down and he made me talk to him about what was going on. He'd realized there was something not right and wouldn't let me get up until I'd told him. 
It basically boiled down to, I feel hollow all the time and can't bring myself to care about anything, but it took an hour to get that out of me. He suggested I call my doctor, and I made an appointment the next day. My lovely, lovely GP got me onto medication straight away, given that my depression was so severe, lucky me has a family history of mental illness, so at least we knew which SSRIs had a better than average chance of working. Here in Australia, we have a good mental health referral program which significantly reduces the cost of seeing a psychologist or psychiatrist for mental health issues, so she also got me an immediate referral to a good counselling psychiatrist. I went through cognitive behavioural therapy, helping me to understand how my brain chemistry and my thought patterns were in a reinforcement spiral, and to break that spiral. I'm no longer on medication, and am now successfully dealing with my depression through behavioural management. I still have awful days days when I feel shit for no reason a few times a month. However, because I know what's going on, I can now make sure that when I have a sad day, sounds a bit less pretentious than depressive episode, although that's what it is, I call my husband as soon as I realize and let him know his love and attention to me is a big help in breaking the cycle of feeling worthless. He gets home and envelops me in a hug as the first thing. He's been a big part of my recovery. I also know that if I'm having a sad day, I need to get out of the house, go for a walk, stand in the sun for a bit, talk to friends. I'm never going to not have depression. It's nowhere near as bad as my dad's he's permanently on medication for depression and OCD but it's not a temporary thing. If I keep on top of it, though, I just have the occasional off day, and for the most part I've formed enough positive habits that I no longer have to make a great number of conscious decisions about how to manage. So yeah, things get better. A lot better. I'm actively involved in my local community's arts groups, I'm happy most of the time, and I try to be really open about my depression so that people who don't have mental illnesses can hopefully understand it better. If I'd actually understood depression better, I probably would have twigged when I was 12 and it all started, rather than when I was 27. Response 3. I called suicide hotlines few times, they don't really help and often make it worse. Sadly this is 100% true. They seemed so intent on just listening to me talk, as if all I needed to feel better was just cry at them for a few minutes. I'm not a hormonal teenage girl who just needs to dish. I needed serious help, and the suicide prevention hotline offered none. Right after getting off the phone with them I attempted suicide and went immediately to the hospital. Some prevention. This is the same misguided attitude I see on Reddit all the time. Apparently talking to a random redditor solves all your problems if you're suicidal or depressed. I would honestly rather talk to a random redditor than the suicide prevention hotline. With the hotline you get scripted questions and absolutely no advice or assistance. At least with a redditor there's a chance they might actually talk to me like a human being. On reddit you often get better, more personal replies. And that's exactly what I'm looking for when I'm depressed. Forming a personal connection to somebody, even a temporary one, is my life jacket. I used a great deal like this, not even to talk about depression or anything personal, just to be able to speak to someone regardless of subject. Hit or miss, but I feel like I hit more times than I missed though so I had to say something. Response 4. If you think nobody in the world cares, try missing a car payment or two. A little humor. I hope. Folks, please call if you are thinking bad things. Getting help is strength. I posted this somewhere else. I've been 15 years in depression. Tried SSRIs, moderately actually effective. If it hasn't helped, there's always new things coming out. But get help if you need it. Definitely running and meditating has helped out and I'm slowly better. Trust me, hanging on has been worth it. What has kept me going is knowing that to relieve my burden would be to relieve my burden from me onto my loved ones. I can't handle that. Try everything there is. Modern science is amazing. And it might sound cheesy, but the company and touch of the right person is even better. Life takes strange turns and one of them has to be right. I know a lot of this happy corny things are easy to pass off as BS. I did. Denial is a huge part of being in this situation. I've always wanted to believe in the worst case scenario. It somehow made me feel better, odd as it may sound. Listening to sad songs all day, crying at a sunset, watching morbid endings, got quote, Oberon, made me actually feel, I wouldn't say good, I don't know what the right word is. But, I know, and so you should, that you're making yourself believe all these cynical things. 
remember that, now or someday, you're the Robin Williams to people that would affect them as much as his passing has affected us. Regardless, you should live also for yourself, rather than for others, and I've actually tried to make that a strong tenet of my life to cope with it. I hope things work out and if any of you ever needs a listening ear, know that there's at least one stranger on the internet that understands your problem and cares enough to type all this up. And you can see, there's hundreds on this thread alone, not just one. If you want to, message me whenever you need to. Thanks. Response 5. Even if you think no one cares, misses what depression is by a mile. Who cares that people care? Depressed people believe they are doing the world a favor by removing themselves from it. For some people, actually staying alive is the sacrifice. Agreed. There have been plenty of times in my life that I've felt I was only staying alive for other people and that doing so was such a huge sacrifice for me. There are still plenty of times that I'm convinced the world would be better off with one less resource hogging unproductive American in it. I do nothing but leech and contribute nothing of value to the world, yet here I am. Response 6. It only takes the death of a famous person for everyone to suddenly advocate mental health. It's not that simple. The death of a famous person that everybody assumed had it all and was happy. The reality is that if he can succumb to depression, anybody can. No one assumed he had it all and was happy. He recently entered rehab again and has struggled with drugs and alcohol throughout his life. I did. I don't follow celebrity news. Response 7. For outside the US. Response 8. After this very recent tragedy this is more important than ever. Depression is a real disease and there can be help out there. Please reach out to as many people as possible if you are feeling suicidal. Right, preventing suicide was important before a famous comedian died but now it's more important than ever. This is getting major news industries to finally talk about depression and what an epidemic it is. So fuck yes, it is. I hate saying it but with his death people will begin to talk about depression more and what we as a society can do to work through it. It will help so many people who don't know what's wrong with them because they don't know they're depressed. It will help people who are depressed gain the strength they need to realize they are not alone if such a beloved man felt the need to take his life. Hell yeah, this is a huge day for gaining ground for society understanding depression. So yes, this is more important than ever because we who have suffered through depression and suicidal thoughts finally have the voice we need in society. Edit, many people are commenting back about how other celebrities have committed suicide, but I'm not counting overdose with this and considering Robin Williams is the most well-known actors I know to have committed suicide, I feel like this will have a far bigger impact than some of the other celebrity suicides. Depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, etc. Basically whop them with a DSM. But depression is strangely sad fact, the stats float at around 20% of the US population. That being said people do talk about it, then move on. People also seem to have an innate distrust of medications and therapy. I actually used to dislike my depression medicine. I felt like it didn't help and really just restrained me. I've only just recently started taking it again and my god, it helps. It may not be the way to make things meet, but it does make things easier. And even if you don't go to therapy, it's absolutely crucial to talk to someone about what's going on inside your head. You need a sounding board to let things out, even if it's as simple as keeping a journal. It really does help and there are so many people out there willing to lend an ear, even complete strangers. Response 9. Deleted. Response 10. You treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I'll guarantee you'll win, Robin Williams, Patch Adams. Deleted. Response 11. Deleted. 